Folks, what's up? Good morning. This is Michael in the wee hours of the night on the Graveyard Shift with your daily trivia question. Happy Sunday. It's easy like Sunday morning, as I love to say. And I hope your Christmas was good as we finish out this holiday weekend. And if you're traveling, if by some unfortunate circumstance you are traveling on, a, on airplanes coming into RDU, I know hundreds of flights are delayed and some of them are even just flat out canceled from the latest blurbs that are coming over my phone. So I hope you're traveling safe, safely, easy for me to say, and I hope you can make it back home timely. Anyways, the answer to the previous trivia question was the one and only, most appropriate for Christmas Day, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So a department store from Montgomery Ward, a store manager in Chicago, decided that the store should create its own children's book for the annual holiday promotion. Robert May was picked by the store manager, who he was a marketing person of sorts. He put together these catalogs for the department store. He was assigned this task. So after much work and much thought and a whole lot of writing, he came back with the story of Rudolph, an underdog, red-nosed reindeer who was in the right place at the right time, as we all know from the famous story just when Santa needed someone to help him on a foggy Christmas Eve. Montgomery Ward that year printed and distributed more than 2 million copies at branches across the country. It was, needless to say, it was a huge hit. Now, the CEO of Montgomery Ward, this is a pretty cool little add-on to the story. He didn't think anything beyond the story, beyond 1939. He, he wanted to kind of shelve it, do away with it, move on, maybe come up with something the following year. He didn't like, kind of like, really didn't like the idea to begin with. So he signed over, ended up signing over the rights of the story to Robert May. So May would get his brother-in-law to come up with the famous jingle that we all know today, which would later be picked up on radio. I think it was by Gene Autry, who was a famous singer and actor at that time in the late 1930s. So the story's got a really cool ending. Robert May kind of fell on hard times. During this whole thing, his wife had died. He was stuck with her medical bills. He was in debt. He didn't make a whole lot of money working for Montgomery Ward. So when this whole Rudolph experience fell into his lap and he experienced the success of it, he was set for life off of the royalties and the rights of the story thereafter. And so was his family. So what a cool kind of a story for a creation of one of the most famous Christmas characters and a good success story for Mr. Robert May for coming up with Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And that brings us to today's trivia question to wrap up a holiday weekend for December 26th on this day in 1917 following the country's entry into World War I and in an effort to expedite the flow of goods and ease massive congestion, President Woodrow Wilson announces the federal possession and nationalization of this industry. All right. Enjoy your Sunday, everybody.